All right, well, Casey here with CL Creative, where I'm teaching you web design and Webflow one video at a time. And today, I'm gonna help you fix a bug that I discovered in a recent project. Whenever I have the nav bar blurred, the drop downs, I want them to be blurred as well to go with the style, but it wasn't happening. And so I'm gonna provide you with a fix. I looked at all kind of different forums out there, and a lot of people are having trouble way back to like 2015, 2016, 17. You know, I went way back and then all the way up to today, and this issue is still occurring. I'm gonna show you how I fixed this on a recent client build. So let's jump into the computer and check things out. All right, well, here we are in the computer, and this is the issue that I was having. I have this background blur right there, so you can see that my nav bar has a blur on it. Uh, but then, whenever I would hover over, you see that this does not have a blur. It's not blurred out at all. You can barely read the text, and that's not what the style should be. So this is what it should be right here. We got my blurred frosted background uh, for the nav bar, as well as this. And, and the way that you accomplish this is by using a backdrop filter. So if we jump over here, into our Webflow project. We grab my nav container right here, and then you come down over here to this filters area, and you just apply a background blur. So you can make this more or less, just kind of depending on where you're at. So say for my project, this nav bar has a 10. So now I'm thinking, okay, what do I need to do in order to make these also blurred? You just come in, you open this up, you click settings, show, and now this right here, which is gonna be my nav menu drop down list, I also want to apply a blur to this. So I come down to my backdrop filters and I apply a blur. You see, I've got a 15 pixel blur on there. So theoretically, this should also be blurred. But if you notice, when we go into preview mode, it's not blurred. But here's the thing, if I go, to my nav bar, or my nav container, excuse me, and I just remove this blur. Come back to preview. Now this is blurred, but my nav bar is not blurred, right? Like, it doesn't look good. You, it's not hiding things so that I can read my text very well. So now, there's gotta be a solution, right? I searched all over all the forums, like I mentioned earlier, and I could not find a solution. So I got to thinking, well, what needs to happen is just this back here, uh, behind this needs to be blurred. So I thought, well, here's what I need to do. I just need to go ahead and remove this background blur from the nav container. And I need then to create a container behind this that is not the actual nav container. And so that's exactly what I did. I just threw a div on the page. I named this nav bar one container blur just because I like to name things, you know, however I want to name them. I put on here a nav container. I have position relative on that. So that way it's going to, you know, take uh, this absolutely positioned nav bar container blur. Let me just go ahead and unhide that. So I hit it so that we wouldn't be able to see that it was actually working. And I applied position absolute full to it. I give it the same exact rounding or radius, sorry, as you know, on actual nav container. Essentially, it looks exactly the same. I gave it the same, I did not give it the, you know, the actual background of this because I have the background applied on my nav container here. I have a white at 10%. All I wanna do is get the blur effect going. And then I just come down to background filters, clicked on blur, and I gave it a 10% blur. So we can, we can push it back up to where you know, I was at maybe 10 pixels, eight pixels. I mean, you just kind of adjust this to whatever your taste is. And then if we go into preview mode, boom. And if we scroll down the page, we've also got that nice blur back there, that backdrop blur so that this text is not, not getting lost. And then whenever we hover, we are getting our nice blur effect. So something simple as just using position absolute and applying a black drum blur to a div that's hidden behind this nav container. Now, I don't know if this is just a Webflow issue or if this is just an issue all around. This is something that I'm experiencing in Webflow with the nav bar um, that they have inside of Webflow that's built in. And it seems like this has been an issue in Webflow, but this is exactly 
how you fix it. Hopefully that helps somebody out.